שלום, קלה לה נמלה, יהוו בה השם יהוו שי, והשם הכה הקודש, דבלה נזכו הפסס אף גריפ מלסטון, אין שלום תודה כי הם פושים את הסוגל סינסירלי, אני נשוד, סיס קזק פרם ג'ימס ג'מייקה, תודה רבה נדור קוויק לסן, הופלי אני נדפיין לסן, on the day of atonement, specifically, because there's certain people that believe that you can do certain things on the on the day of atonement right certain things like uh, cook you know eat what what their what their their idea is that because it's called a feast day means you know you have to eat or you can eat but the scriptures the scriptures give clear instructions on how to observe the the day of atonement all right and you know just going into the definition of certain words really show you what this day is really about yeah. so let's just jump right into it um leviticus 16 and 29 and this shall be a statute forever unto you that in the seventh month on the tenth day of the month you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth among you for on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you that you may be clean from all your sins before Yahweh. it shall be a sabbath of rest unto you and you shall afflict your souls by a statute forever all right so uh, the first things first, let's talk about the word souls, right? It says afflict your souls. Let's go into the definition of the word soul, which is Strong's H3, sorry, Salakia, Strong's H5315. And the Hebrew word is Napash. And it goes into soul, self, life, creature, person, appetite, mind, living being desire emotion passion that which breathes the breathing substance uh, of being soul the inner being of man all right so we don't have to go i have to go through all right the the answers at the top or the words at the top already communicates what the soul is and what we are supposed to afflict Right, because it's a flick of soul, you know. So, your appetite, right, your mind, your desire, your emotion, your passion, these are the things that you basically bring under subjection, right? For lack of a better term, we bring our appetite, desires, you know, under subjection, under our on the subjection of the spirit basically all right so uh we have the definition of the word appetite from miriam webster dictionary and he says any of the instinctive desires necessary to keep up organic life all right instinctive desires include you know uh the desire to eat which is the more uh common association to appetite right but you also have uh, the desire to work the desire to make money the desire to to have sex right we desire to have certain things to do certain things um sport t uh, game tv whatever it be see <clears throat> so that's what um your appetite really is right in other words things that the flesh uh desire the things that the flesh that that keep the flesh going for lack of a better term see all right so we'll go back to the bible mm -hmm. all right and we're gonna uh let's see all right so afflict your soul mean af um get your appetite the desires your emotion passion right um under subjection right that's basically what it means now the way we're gonna the way we do this because you know there's some beliefs out there 
he then believes that um, we're supposed to chop up with well some beliefs you know have people you know beat themselves to to a bloody pulp cut up themselves and all of that but you know that's not the way of um israel right no um really and truly what we're supposed to be doing is fast right fasting um brothers can attest you know when you fast every year you get a clearer um foresight on a lot of things you know it if you have an excessive desire for certain things fasting actually help with that you know right you have you have an excessive desire for you know um sex or sexual content fasting helps right um food you're overweight you see me um yeah maybe i do you're over indulging in certain things fasting helps right you're lacking in uh whether it's whether within the spirit or anything else fasting helps all right so now you know and he also goes to mention that um you know the previous scripture that uh the day of atonement is actually a sabbath day as well you know and we all know that certain things you don't do on a sabbath day right a lot of the feast days a lot of the high holy days fall on sabbath days right you know but you know a lot some of those are some of those are more i'd say you'd have to go in depth in some of them because not all of them require you to um fast you know some of them you can um you eat but you don't cook once it's a sabbath day you do not do certain things right everything is done beforehand seen but not to share from the point this is isaiah 58 and 3 says wherefore have we fasted say they and thou seest not so like a, um wherefore means why right it says wherefore or why have we fasted say they and thou seest not um wherefore or why have we afflicted our soul and thou takest no knowledge so there we go um fasting and afflicting a soul is basically salakia <coughs> salakia fasting um is basically the same as afflicting our souls seeing that's the affliction that you put by yourself for remove um or for balance out back yourself all right balance out your spirit but you know balance the um the the spirit and the flesh right because you know both of it exist with each other you can't but you can't too carnal that's the thing you know you have to be more spiritual than carnal especially in this society right um it says and thou takest no knowledge behold in your day so like behold in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors all right so that was just for, you know fasting is the same as afflicting um one soul um here's another one this is romans all right and this is also the same thing this is romans 8 and 13 for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live right, and the word mortify means to um to make dead or to kill seen oh, sorry, sorry. right um yet not in a literal sense you know but basically having control or putting certain things under subjection right denying your flesh certain pleasures denying your flesh certain ple certain desires all right that's all that is part of the mortifying process that we'll go through when we when we fast you know so uh, again you know the, the point of this lesson is to show you that um you don't you don't feast 
on the day of atonement you don't eat and you know enjoy yourself on the day of atonement there's other feast days for that all right um colossians 3 and verse 5 it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, uh, in the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them. Alright, now, yeah, the point from this precept of my my pull is, you know, um, to mortify uh, our members, you know what I mean, so that we don't fall into these uncleanness, right, into these inordinate affections, fornication, see, fasting is like a reset, see, but the day of atoning specifically, you know, is meant for uh, forgiveness, basically seeking forgiveness, that's why uh, you pray. You know, um, there's other, there, there, there's more, um, what do you call it, instructions, you know, uh, for the, for the day of atonement and I just fast, you know, there are certain things, uh, the priest make a sacrifice for you, um, you know, so on and so forth. But as I said, the main, uh, point that I wanted to bring out is to show you that far the um, the day of atonement is not a day for far for f feast or to eat you know it's more of a day for deny yourself certain things and ask for forgiveness you know it's a day of fasting yeah and fasting is basically denying yourself certain pleasures and desires um, so hopefully you know this lesson was edifying um there's a lot of distractions around so maybe some words might come out a, li a bit shaky or jumbled but again hopefully the um this lesson is and was edifying all right so shalom to the i'm pushing this word sincerity and truth double honors to the apostles of great stone shalom